Uh, we have the gentleman. He called me before from Pakistan. Hello. Or from India. I'm not sure. Hello. Yes. Oh, I Hello, sir. How are you? I'm fine. Are you from uh, Iran or Pakistan or where are you from, from my, my friend? No, sir. I'm from Germany. Yeah, but originally, where are you from? Uh, from Germany. Originally, originally. Originally, I was in uh, born in Switzerland, but I lived in uh, California. Now I'm in Germany. Originally, still, you are not from those countries because the picture you have there is someone like you look from Pakistan or somewhere or Iran, uh, right? I hope I hope it's a compliment. I don't know. I'm just asking you where. I mean, uh, all of us we are human anyway. It doesn't matter where you are from, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm just trying it's, to find out. No problem. What do you want yeah, to say to yeah, us? One, yeah, one word. How are you, sir? I'm fine. Do you want some water? Uh, I'm drinking. Thank you so all much. Right. All right. What do you want to say to us? You are live on air. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, just want to say that uh, the good thing about Islam is that uh, it teaches us to be a good person. How? To be good people. Like what? To be honest, to be loving, to take care of people. Okay, this is, uh, let us stop with the first one. To be honest, yes, where yes. it says how it teaches you to be honest. Isn't it your prophet? He says a Muslim he can lie in three cases to his family, to his friends, to his enemies. No, uh, that's a hadith. Um, okay. I don't want to go into the hadith. Why not? This is this is this is Islam. This is your prophet uh, word. No, these are not my prophet's words. These are this is uh, these are the people who wrote the hadith. Uh, 250 years in Uzbekistan somewhere. But the Quran is the same. The Quran you have today is written more than 200 years after Muhammad too. Yes, yes, but uh, uh, at least we can say that these are coming from God, but uh, uh, we cannot guarantee that the hadith is coming okay. from the Prophet. Can you take a false oath according to the Quran? Can we take up a false oath? Yes. Hmm. I, I I I'm not I'm I'm not knowledgeable about that. Isn't it the Quran that says Allah will not take you accountable for your oath? Isn't it Allah he says my friends you are saying that isn't it the Quran says Allah will not take uh, Allah will not take you accountable? Listen to me carefully. Isn't it Allah saying Allah will not take you accountable for the false oath you take? Maybe for a good purpose. Ah, so a good Muslim is a person who lies for good purpose. What does that mean? Everybody lies for good purpose. Christians lie for good purpose. Uh, but for, this is not, uh, no, if a, if a Christian he no, if a Christian he lie, he is not following God. Jesus said, either you say yeah, yeah, or nay, nay. Anything else is from the devil. So lies is from the devil. The, the devil is the father of all lies. Is what Jesus said. So yeah, but you are saying getting, to me, your God you is getting, teaching you. Your God is teaching you. Your God is teaching you to say a good lie. Give us an example. Maybe, maybe to save your life, you can lie. Uh, okay, but this is still a lie. Is a lie. I'm asking you about a good lie. Maybe to save your wife, uh, okay. you can lie. Yeah. Okay. From who? Like your wife? She asked you where you've been, so you lie to her because it's you want to like, save your life. No, not not about me. Maybe if if my wife is in a big trouble, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, you can lie. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It depends upon the circumstances. Maybe. Hmm. Okay, so when Muhammad he took an oath to his wives, and he promised them he will not sleep with Mary the Copt, he was making a true promise or he was lying. I don't know what what you're referring to. But chapter sixty six. Okay, Let, let's see. Let's review that chapter. Hmm. Let us okay. review that chat. I you, like that. On, on YouTube, sir. Yeah, let us, let us put it for you. Uh, in English, can you do it for Let's me, go. please? Sure, sure. We will do it for you in the English, in the Quran. Thank you, sir. All right. It's this coming. is your prophet taking an sir. oath. He took an oath that he will never sleep with Mary the Copt, his slave, again. Mm, it's still was, in he, Arabic. was he lying or he was truthful? I, I can only see Arabic. Yeah, now I can see English. Mm. When the Prophet disclosed a matter in confidence to one of the... Uh, oh, Prophet, this one, the number one? What the disclosure matter? Where, what, what translation are you reading? What matter? Oh, Prophet. No, I'm, I'm reading YouTube. Oh, Prophet, why hold us do to be forbidden that which Allah has made lawful to thee? Okay. This is the one? Yeah. So what's, what about this, sir? 
This one, your prophet, he made an oath forbidding himself from sleeping from with sex slave. How do you know that? And later, it, it, doesn't say, it doesn't say that. Okay, what he forbid? Tell us. Why hold us to be to, thou to be forbidden that which Allah has made lawful to the uh, uh, something that is lawful for you? Mm. What so is don't that? be shy about that. What, what is don't that? What Muhammad, what Muhammad? He made an oath to, to forbid. What is that? You know? God knows. You know, the God knows. You Muslim knows. It was uh, Mary the Copt. Go open the interpretation. You will see. He you know that he took an oath. He will never. He will never sleep with Mary the Copt again. Then Muhammad he got horny after a few days, so he start having sex with her again. How, how do you know that? He is the because he is the one who made this verse. He said yep. that Allah it's told me one. why you are forbidden for it's you. One. Okay, hold on. Why it's forbidden for you? Why why you forbid yourself? What Allah made lawful for you? What is that? Mary the Copt. Can you show me the verse in the Quran that says it is lawful for Muhammad to have sex with women he received not from war? But let's stick with this verse, okay? Yeah, what, you're, what you're telling me. There's no mention of Mary the Copt in this verse. My friend, in order to understand, okay, so is Allah making the Quran clear for you or this is stupid then? It's a message. It's a message, what is the of message? okay shouldn't we know now what Allah is talking about it's a message we got it but Allah talking about something he forbid so if you are saying to me there's no way to know what Allah he forbid or what Muhammad he forbid and Allah saying to him why you are forbidden this is stupid then because you should tell us so what how, happened how, how do we I, I ask do we you I ask how, you what what how, he for how what you, he forbid how did himself you listen, he said you said I asked you what he forbid himself from. You said only Allah knows, correct? Yes, sir. So this is stupid. So what's the point of this verse then? If we will not be able to know what he forbid himself, what will we learn from it? Maybe it's maybe everything is not about learning. Maybe everything is about knowledge. About, is about it you? Okay. what kind of knowledge? We, we, okay, but after reading it, do we have more knowledge now? No, we are more confused because now we are wondering what he forbid himself from to the point his God telling him, Why you forbid yourself from doing that? Do yeah, but uh, yeah, but uh, if you read all of it, it says, But Allah is often forgiving, most merciful. So that's the knowledge. What most merciful here it says already, you know, I, I, I will let you free from your oath. So Muhammad, he took an oath. Muhammad, he take an oath. Allah says to him, it's okay. You can lie. You can take an oath. I'm not going to take you accountable. Read verse number two. It doesn't say anything about oath here, does it? Read, read verse number two. Verse number two, okay. Hmm. Allah has already ordained for you the dissolution of your oaths in some cases. And Allah is your protector and his full knowledge and wisdom. Hmm. Okay, so, so, so did Muhammad take an oath? Did Muhammad take an oath and he was lying? Take an oath about what? It doesn't say that. Doesn't matter. He took an oath and now he break his oath. Allah is saying to him, You can break it, you can lie. And and, and the message is Allah is your protector and he's full of knowledge and wisdom. Okay, That's hold the on. So uh, Allah is a protector for the liar from Muhammad because he took false oath. This is what he is saying to him. It doesn't say falsehood. Well, he is saying to him, "You can, you can dismiss your oath. When a person some, takes, when a person he your, take an oath, when a person like, he take an oath using the name of God, shouldn't he keep keep his his oath? This is why it's called oath. Like in certain in certain circumstances uh -huh. where you have problems, uh -huh. Muhammad uh -huh. took uh, uh, this. Squeeze it. In it's coming. Yeah, in, in certain circumstances, uh -huh. uh, it was broken. So, so Allah is full of knowledge and wisdom. That's what He's so saying. I, can I do yeah. circumstances and senses as, as a, a oath now, and I can lie to you? Is that okay? Yeah. For example, for example, if ISIS have captured you, and uh -huh. you are in Iraq, trust and, me. and uh, you, you can know, oath. Tr trust me, you don't want to. You don't want to capture me. I will tell you this is a true story by Sahil Bukhari. Once and <laughs> When, I, I, I never want to capture anyone. Yeah, this, I can't no, even this is a true story. This is a true story. When a mafia, <laughs> they ca when, a, when a mafia, they captured me and they called my dad. They said we want three million dollars. My dad, he said, yeah. I will give you three million dollars if you keep him there. 
don't send him back so don't capture me because you will be sorry now listen <laughs> Allah already ordained for you O men the disillusions of your oath but uh, shouldn't Allah say the opposite you should keep your oath no because it's about circumstances sir. You circumstances? Not... give us a circumstance when I ask you what is this oath is about you said we don't know the full story what you don't know the full story I, is, you are the Muslim and you do not know the full story Nobody knows the full story, but the bottom line is Allah what is your protector. Line? How you can go to the bottom line if you do not know the story? How you can go to the bottom line? Don't speak about the Baliban, by the way. And and you do not know what the story. No, we don't need to know the story. If we need to know the story, the story will be revealed. Uh -huh. It's not revealed. Okay. The only thing that is revealed is okay. Allah. Is your okay. Protector. Okay. Okay. Hold Allah on, Allah guys. So Allah don't want to reveal the story. <laughs> so why is revealing this verse then? For what for? What we learn from this now? It's full of knowledge and wisdom. That's what he's telling us. What knowledge? That's why he reveals this. What knowledge? Is it knowledge that God he says to you, you can use my name in vain and you can lie using my name, taking oath to people? No, it's it's not saying that that you can it use my name. It in says it says you can. You know you you forget about your oath. Don't worry about it. Allah has license. already Allah for you, to Muhammad. I'm giving you a license to lie and use my name in vain. Again, you are assuming the, that you know the story. I'm not assuming. It is written in the books of Tafsir. I'm not assuming. It's you who's assuming that there's no story. So fix what you are saying. It is you who's assuming. I am not assuming. So no, I'm not assuming because the assume is not there. So if we go to the book of interpretation, we will find in the assuming interpretation that your prophet was having sex with the slave in the house of, of his wife Hafsa. When the wife Hafsa, she came, and Muhammad, who was not like he did not come first, you know, she said to him, In my house and in my bed, Muhammad. I'm not assuming, it's you who's assuming. And when I say to you, when I say to you the hadith, you say, Oh, we don't accept the hadith. So, how you learn about Islam then? Okay, let me ask you. You don't, you don't, you don't, accept, the, you don't accept the hadith, right? So we, only, we only listen to the Quran. Okay. So we don't follow the tafsir or the hadith okay. because I, it's all. I, I, yeah. I'm, going, I'm going to go with you. As long as you don't follow the Quran, you don't follow the tafsir, you don't follow the hadith, I want you to tell me what is the last name of Muhammad? Uh, ben Abdullah. Where you learned that from? Uh... Um, from the hadith. Uh, a second ago, you said you don't believe the hadith. Uh, yeah, we don't follow the hadith, but uh, there are certain things that we already know. Uh, that we how you believe. know? How you know? It's in the hadith, and you are the one who said to me the hadith written three hundred years after Muhammad. So maybe the uh, name is false too. How you know? So, so, so hear the hypocrisy, my friend. When you want. You, you have an answer from the hadith when you want you don't want the hadith. Don't even know that. you are right you are right we don't even know what's the, what's the last name hmm. we know that muhammad is a title we don't even know the name exactly we know, so so muhammad yeah. is a title did we hear it guys muhammad is a title it's not a name so what yeah. does the title mean what muhammad mean uh, uh the one to be praised the okay. praised one so if if allah if muhammad is the praised one so who's allah allah is the is the god of the moon you are a Muslim? Yes, sir. Okay. What's wrong with that? You have a you have a god of unknown entity with in Christianity. So we can have a we can we can give him a title, right? We have what? Our god a title. We can call him the god of the moon if you want. Okay. Well yeah, yeah, yeah. the Quran says that actually I agree with you, but I'm surprised that you, you deliver the, that so easy. Uh, yeah. You deliver, you deliver that so easy. Can you take Shahada just to be sure that you are a Muslim, you are not a fake Muslim? Yeah, la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Well, what does that mean? There is no God but Allah and Muhammad is the Prophet. Why you are associating the name of Allah with the name of Muhammad? Hmm. Because uh, we are doing that to, to uh, tell the people this is the religion. Because the religion. I know, I know it it's not fair is it a, to is it, a, the is it a religion to say that uh, there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is a messenger? Okay, well, Allah, he sent 124,000 messenger. Why you don't say that there's no God but Allah and uh, Musa is a messenger? Why the Shahada is because Muhammad? We are following the last messenger in Islam. That's why. Okay, Muhammad is the last messenger. So is Jesus coming back? Yes. So how is the last messenger? 
Jesus is not coming back as the messenger, is he? He's coming what? Is he what? coming back as according the messenger? To Islam, according to Islam, he's coming what? As what? He's coming back uh, to help people. Uh, he will open charity. Uh, maybe. I don't know. He but he's open, not the last one. Uh, he, he will work in the Red Cross. I know it. In Islam, mm -hmm. in Islam, we know that the last messenger is Muhammad, not Jesus. Uh, Okay, how come Allah He sent 124,000 messengers and suddenly He don't want to send more messengers? And remember, Allah is the moon God, as we agreed. So why the moon God refrained from sending messengers no more? And where in the Quran it says Muhammad is the last messenger? Because uh, because this is the final book. There is no other book after this. Who says so? Which other book is there for Islam? Uh, I, is there I, any I wrote books about Islam. I have already yeah, many, many books. About Islam, but but, but uh, there's no Quran 2. Is is there a Quran 2 or Quran 3? Yeah, I was quoting ants. I quote an ant in my book. And this is what the Quran. Quran quote ants. What kind of God? He quote ants. I What's wrong with that? What's wrong? So, so, maybe, so, how, maybe, so how this maybe, Quran is the final message? Okay, how, several, how this Quran maybe, is the final message? And he is quoting for us an ant spoke before muhammad by thousand of years if this is the final maybe, message that maybe that particular end was more intelligent than you and me oh, okay i agree with you she was a very smart hand actually i i noticed that you know the ants are very well organized and they go in circle too so let, let us go there when you said no, to me that uh, when you said to me when you said to me that allah allah is the moon god why he is not the sun god why is not the sun god? Because yeah. because we follow we follow the uh, we follow the lunar calendar, uh -huh. and 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 uh, uh, it's not that it's it doesn't mean that he's the god of the moon. Do, mm. do you understand that? It's just it's just a title. Mm. It's just because moon is bright, and moon there's there's high tide with the moon. And uh, uh, there's development with the moon, and moon we can see with, we can see the beauty of the moon. That's yeah. why it's a title of Allah. It's it's Allah. Uh, so Allah. the moon is pretty. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So let me so ask you then: when when the people they ask when the people ask Muhammad about why the moon his look change, what is the hmm. answer of your God? Do you know? You are going referring to hadith again. Uh, yeah, daif hadith. No. No, I'm, I'm, I just told you, sir. Please. Well, in, the, uh, in, the, in the Daif hadith, it says that Allah He made the moon for timing. You don't agree with that? No, I'm, I, I'm, I don't believe in any hadith because uh, the hadiths are written several okay, hundred years is, ago. Okay, let us let us fix it then. This is not in the hadith. This is in the this is not in the hadith. This is in the Quran. Okay, show me, sir. Okay, but remember, a second ago you rejected it because it's in the hadith. So the second ago, the one now we will accept it, right? And and, and I, I I'll, I'm I'm following you. I'm following you. I'm not. Uh, no, you're not following me. You you are you are fooling me. Trying to support you to fool me. Uh, I said to you, Allah. He says that Allah created the moon, so if people they can know the timing. I said to okay, you, so this this is is, I said to you, this is in the hadith. You said I don't accept hadith. And now I'm saying to you, but this is in the Quran. Now what we will do? Do you accept it or not? I accept it. Show okay, me. But how come you're not accepting the hadith then? No, show me, show me the Quran. Okay, chapter show two, me. the chapter of the cow. I don't know if you are a Hindu. Yeah. You used to be a Hindu before. Yeah. Chapter of uh, the Hindu. Yeah. Chapter yeah. of the Hindu, verse one two eight one eight nine. Yeah. Yeah, the Hindu chapter, verse one eighty nine. So what's wrong with this hadith? What's what's wrong with this verse? Because this is not the reason that the moon the moon look change. What does this have to do with the timing? The moon it changed the look it of it because of the timing. No, that the moon, the moon changes, and and uh -huh. and, the, and the days change with the moon, and and after fifteen days the moon disappears. They are asking yeah. him. They are asking him concerning Al Ahilla. You see, the moon translation says the new moons. Ahilla simply is the crescent moon. How the moon changed the, the change the size because all what they see, they what? see that the the, the 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 shape of the moon is changing. So they are asking him why it's happened like this. Why the shape change? So he come with the answer saying, "Oh, because this is how Allah He made timing." Yeah, it, it changes with, with, with different days. The the shape the, of the moon, but the shape the of the moon never changed. The moon, the color of the moon changes. No, nothing changed in the moon. This is nothing changed in the moon. The moon never changed. The way we see it, it changes. Yeah, from Earth. Okay, but the one is answering is Allah. Do He see it differently? No, He's talking to us. 
is talking to us is telling us uh-huh. that it changes for your timing what time so it, it's correct but the, but the moon timing is the, is the wrong timing no because because even eat you know the the the, the big eat and the small eat both uh-huh. the eats we celebrate so, with the moon so every what, single month so Allah, he is giving false information about the reason for the moon shape change he should oh, tell no. them. He should tell it's, them. It's, no, he it's, should it's tell them. Totally, he it's should totally tell them that the moon shape totally does not it. change. The moon shape did not change. It is just no. how it appeared for you because of the, the the reflection of the sun. But he did not say that. He says the opposite. He says something different. He says, you know, the 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 the, the moon have shapes because of timing. So every timing have a shape. He's he's correct. But every timing has a shape. Yeah. Is, is the, moon the, moon, the moon did not change his shape. But he's not talking shape. to the people of Mars. He's talking to the people of Earth. So what? He's God. This is why you are asking him because they don't know. You're trying God to is, find out. God is talking to the to the Earthlings, to the ah, humans. Ah, okay, I yeah. see. Uh-huh, uh, okay. Nothing you know, wrong here, sir. Okay. So, uh, uh, Allah, the Moon God, yet He do not know that the Moon shape is not a changing. No, he knows. He knows. So, so why he did not say so? He knows the moon shape changes. Why he, did, he, not say, why he did not say so? That it's connected with the timing. Why he did not say so? Why should he? Why he has to tell us that? Because they why, ask him. He, because they ask him. No, they ask him about the timing. He's telling us about the timing. No, they did not ask him about so, timing. They ask him what is the what is the moon what is the moon shape concerning the, the moon shape of the moon. Does it say that they are asking? Do, do, do you see the word timing there? Ask thee concerning the new moons. Okay, the, the new, new moons. moons. Okay, the new moons. The new, if there's a new moon, the anyway, if there's a new moons, if there's a new, if there is a new moons. Uh, yeah. Huh? The new moon appears after the disappearance how, of the previous. How moon. many? How many moons we have? We have uh, one moon, but okay, there's so another. Why, so why in the right? verse it says they are asking you about the new moons? There's another asteroid that we discovered like a few weeks ago that's circling the Earth, so that's another moon. No, they are asking him about the moon they see. They are asking circles him, the... don't go there about discover. This is about the time of Muhammad. This is the moon they see in the sky. And those Arab, they think that those are not one moon because they look different. So they are asking him about al ahilla new moons. So they believe new that moons, there are many moons. The moon and the new moon and means the new moons. Not a new moon, it's a new moons. New moon. The old moon that disappeared plus the new moon that appears, the crescent moon, means the new moons. You okay. have to be. But you here, have to be very but here, it doesn't, here it doesn't say that. It says they are asking him about the the new crescent moons. So they are crescent. There are many of them. Did he deny that there are many? Did he say they are one? He said no. He said they are they are many. He agreed with them, and he said this is because I made them this way for timing. So your God, he believed there's many moons, each one of them in different shape. He, he, he didn't time. say there are many moons. It he says didn't in say front that. of you. Does it say moons in the front of you? Yeah, moons means the old moon that disappeared and the new moon that appeared. Okay, new moon will be new moon, not the new moons. So it's all about it's all about grammar and all of that, you know. Amen. Either was this is not about the grammar because the Quran is a language anyway. So if the grammar is wrong, your God is wrong. Don't tell me it's a grammar now. So if it's saying the new moons, if you are saying, oh, it's talking about the old moon, so the new moons are appearing now? New moons? Maybe it's not the moons, maybe it's the moon. Who knows? Ah, now we go to maybe. So now we jump for maybe. How are you doing with maybe? Are you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you good with maybe? Are you good, are you good with maybe? Are you a specialist with maybe? No, I'm saying it's the new moons. Yeah, it's, it, here it says it's the new moons. How many moons appear with the new moon? You said, you said, the old explanation saying that there's an old moon, there's a new moon. So there's a new moon, not the new moons. When I read this verse in English with the new moons, that's how I'm jumping to this uh, conclusion. But maybe it says new moon instead of new moons. No, it doesn't say here. Oh. It says in Arabic, Al Ahilla. Ahilla is moons, crescent moons, specifically, crescent moons. Not moon only. It's a crescent moon, Al Hilal. Al Ahilla. Ahilla is a plural word of Hilal. So they are asking him about oh, the, the many uh, crescent moons. Why they are many? He said, Well, I made them this way for timing. But this is a very false explanation. Okay, so it's it's just a plural and the singular thing that you are objecting about. 
No, the word in ahilla means. Moon. Are there two moons? My friend, my friend, ahilla is not just a word. You like in English, you add s, you make it a, a plural word. No, ahilla is a, a word for many crescent moons. Many. So this, this is, is not an s we are adding at the end. Arabic. You're talking about the new Arabic. You were not born when, when people used to speak the old Arabic. Who, who said so? I am born long time ago. Who said that to you? I was born before Muhammad. Prove me wrong. Do you know when Muhammad was born? Do you, do you know when Muhammad was Do you know when Muhammad was born? Yeah, in in the in the seventh century. Who so who told you that? Sixth century, six something. Who told you that? Who told you that? I don't remember. Sir. I don't remember. Who told you that? You don't remember. So, but you are the one who said you for only the Quran. Yeah, I'm only the Quran. Nobody knows. Nobody knows these things. Okay. So what, do you know, so what do you know then about Islam? So if nobody knows who is Muhammad, nobody knows where he, when he was born, nobody knows what his father name, nobody knows what his first name, nobody knows. Okay, you told me that his first name is a title, it's not a real name. So what is the real name of Muhammad? You don't know. Why should we know his father's name? Maybe it's For a, what? because maybe it's a joke, maybe it's a lie, maybe it doesn't exist. Maybe it's a mythology. That's what you're saying. I'm not saying that. I'm saying. If Muhammad, that, you do not know, you are you are following who? You, what, you are saying, what you are saying to me, you do not know who you, you are following. There is somebody, he's been given a title, the praised one, which is God title, and you do not know his last name, you do not know who is his father, you do not know his first name. So what do you know about him? We need to, all we need to know is to be a good person, is, is to be good people. Okay, is wonderful. To, okay, wonderful. Is it a good yeah. person? Is it a good person, the one who says you can beat your wife? No. So why the Quran says you can beat your wife? Okay, let's read that. Let's read that. And and let's not jump to conclusions. We are not jumping to conclusion. Yeah. The Quran, does the Quran say that or I'm making things up? I don't know how you are how you're understanding that. It's about your understanding. My friend, you tell yeah. me your understanding. Does the Quran say you beat your wives? Yes or no? Can we can we go to that verse? Oh, go ahead. No problem. Here we go. Chapter 4, verse number 34. Um, wait one second. Hold on. It's not coming yet. Piktal, yeah. I see Piktal. Okay. Hmm. Can you read, please? Yeah, uh, men are in charge of women. Okay. Because Allah has made the one of them to excel the other. Hmm. And because they spend of their property. Hmm. So, so good women. So is it, is, it, is it a good to teach that the man, he been given the authority just because he spent some money on a woman while she is a whore? Okay, let's read more. So good women are the obedient guarding in secret that which Allah has guarded. Mm. Mm. Continue. As for those from whom you fear rebellion, mm -hmm. admonish them and banish them to pass apart and scorch them. Mm -hmm. what's, the, what's the meaning of the word rebellion? Rebellion is a woman, she, let's say, you say to her, uh, can you make me tea? And she say, okay. You know, she is not jumping right away to do it. Because of all war, there's a rebellion. What is rebellion? Rebellion is something deeper than that. It's not okay. about tea. Is it a is it a rebellion? Is, is, it, is, it is, a rebellion uh -huh. is someone who is who is uh, sleeping around or stuff like that. That's ah, rebellion. Sneaking around. I will go with you. So sleeping I, around I, or, or doing something really bad. That's okay. rebellion. All right. So are so, you sure? Uh, so are you sure that the word? Re uh, uh, Rebellion here mean that yeah. this is a bad person. Uh, the word rebellion means this is a very bad person, of okay, course. Thank you. So your prophet here was rebellion too. Here we go. We go to the Quran. We will find yeah. the same exact word in Arabic describing your Muhammad. And remember, you are the one who said this word mean a very bad person. So how come yes. your prophet, he is a bad person according to you? Okay, and show it's okay, me. and nobody will beat him. Here we go. 
chapter four, the same chapter, the same chapter, yep. chapter four, verse one twenty eight. Chapter four, one twenty. I don't see it yet. Hold on. This is the word in Arabic. Yeah, but in Imra, khafat min This is the same word was translated in the other hadith, other translation as rebellion. Just to show you the hypocrisy of the Muhammadan. This no, is exactly the same word. There so, are some rebels who, who are rebe who are rebelling for a good hold cause. On. You, a, a second ago, you said to me, rebellion is a bad person. Now it's a good cause. But this is no. A, if, but he's if, if, he is rebellion well, to his wives. He is rebellion <laughs> to his wives. He is rebellion to his wives. Hmm? He is rebellion to his wives. So here it's talking about the bad people. Yeah, it's talking about the wives. It's no, talking about no, here is talking about your bad Muhammad. This is verse 128, the same chapter. And if, women, this. In, if a woman f fears the cruelty of this uh, distortion on her husband, part there is no sin of them if they make a term peace between them and themselves. Okay, what is that story? It's about Sauda bin Tudama. She was an old woman. She is a wife of Muhammad. Muhammad, he don't want to sleep with her no more. Muhammad would divorce her. Hold on. So now Muhammad became rebellion. He don't want to sleep with her. The woman, she have no fault. She is still his wife. Why do you want to sleep with her? Muhammad, he said that, okay, Aisha, she suggests to him, if you want, I can make a deal with her that you're, the, the day you sleep with her, you give it to me and you will not divorce her. The woman, she is old. She don't want to be homeless in the street. So she agreed to the terms and condition. So how come when your prophet is rebellion, his wife, she cannot beat him. And you are the one who said rebellion means bad person, evil person. But when, the women, when the women she is rebellion, according to you, we can beat her. I don't see the word rebellion here. Can you show I, me, please? I, I see it. It's because you don't speak Arabic. Here we go. It, even here it says, if a woman fear a cruelty of distortion from her husband, so he's a cruel to her. Do you see it? Your, your yeah, prophet is being, it's being is that, cruel. Is cruelty. That rebellion? Yeah. Is that this, is rebellion? More ugly, this is more ugly. Than, this is a translation, my friend. Rebellion means okay, what is on. the let us rebellion? Switch. Rebellion let means us that you, you the that same person. translator. Hold on, let us see the same translator. Read with me carefully and laugh, Mr. Rebellion. Yes, it doesn't say rebellion, sir. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, all right, let us see. Here we go. Read carefully. Yeah, if a woman she feareth ill treatment from her husband, ill treatment, mm -hmm. do you support mm -hmm. ill treatment? No. Okay, your prophet was doing ill treatment to his wives. Where does it say that? It's in front of you. Yes. Ill treatment from her husband, or it is no sin for them to end if they make terms of peace between themselves. Yeah, if if they reconcile, then this it's okay. okay how, come, is how come if the women she have ill treatment, you call her rebellion, and when the husband he is having ill treatment, you call him it's okay. Rebellion is far more advanced than ill treatment. Abdul, Rebellion this is, is, a, is, this is your false translation in Arabic. The same word. Read, read, read dictionary, me carefully. Read this is no need for dictionary. This is the word. Nushud, nushud. Nushud. Listen, this is the word in the front of you. Do you see it? Nushud. So it is the same word used in both verses. Both verses have the same exact word. If they make peace, if even if there's a rebellion, remember if there's how a war between Iran, a Iran how come, and Rome, how come if the and Rome, is and then we have peace. How come if the woman is rebellion? Yeah, listen, how come if the woman is rebellion, she is being evil, as you said, she is being better person, and she sneak around according to you. The word rebellion means sneak around. And now, if Muhammad is sneaking around, and we prove it, this is what he did with Maria the Copt. And Muhammad is being a rebellion and he is not treating his wife nicely. How come the wife she cannot beat her husband? That's that's your understanding, sir. This is not my understanding. This is what the verse is saying. I can open the interpretation for you. Now let, let's stick with the verse. Why, why we go to the interpretation when because we are not the interpretation, to... the interpretation will confirm that if this is my understanding or this is the Islamic understanding. Yeah, but those people were not prophets, were they? The people who interpret a, this is how this is the Islamic understanding. This is how Muslim follow. You are obviously you are making your own interpretation now. I'm not making. I'm just reading the Quran. Okay, and they are in, and, and they are just, the, and they are in the Quran too, and they are reading the Quran too, and they are scholars. Yeah, but 
Are yeah, there's are you, are you, are you, are you a scholar? Are you a scholar? Okay, let us go back to zero. Let us go back to zero. We go back to the universe. So now your wife is rebellion. Is it right to beat her? If she is, if she is causing war, yes. Ah, so you are a woman beater. So do you? Are you not a woman? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you, are you married? Are you married? Yes, sir. Did you beat your wife? Never. If she became rebellion, you will beat her. It's all. It's 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 a it's a, about the story. You don't know the story. You're assuming a lot Listen, of things. A second ago, you said, "Oh yes, yeah, if, is if, it to beat her." If she, so I'm asking you, if, she, if your wife if she, she became rebellion, you will beat her or not? Yeah, if she became rebellion and she brings a dagger and she tries to kill me with that dagger, don't, maybe don't I will make, beat. Don't her. mix things up. What is what it says? He, she will kill him. What it says? The woman she will kill him. That's maybe rebellion. No, I'm telling about rebellion. no rebellion. It means she is not obeying her husband. Read carefully, just to show you how how silly you are. It says, and if they obey you, seek not against them. So it's all about being obedient. This is what rebellion mean. Yeah, but then it uses a very very drastic uh, word, rebellion. It says, if you obey, this is a stupid translation, Mister Rebellion. For that drastic Mr. word, Mister Rebellion. This is a translation. If we change the translator, we will find different word. That's trying to translate just to make you happy. Just to show you how silly you are. Here we go. We go to Yusuf Ali. Yusuf Ali is a very well known Abdul. Here it says, if they are what? Does it say the word rebellion? It says ill conduct. Do you see it? Ill conduct. To, yeah. If you don't like Yusuf Ali, we change it to different the translation. Let us go, let us go to, uh, to, to Hilali and Khan. Let us go to Hilali and Khan. Let us see. You will see it's saying the same. It's if you see ill conduct, do you see it? Ill conduct. So is not, she is not she is not a cheating. She is not even lying to you. She is not going around. She is just ill conduct. What ill conduct means? What do you mean, what do you mean by ill conduct? You tell me. Ill conduct, Ill -conduct can be cheating. Ill conduct can be many things. <laughs> Guys, ill conduct means cheating. <laughs> so if your wife she is a cheating. And if you obey her, if she obey you after she cheat, is okay in Islam? Is that what the verse is saying? I, I don't know the, the context of the story. What do you mean you don't conduct the story? You said to me you can understand the Quran by the Quran itself. You said, you said you do not need to understand anything. The Quran alone is enough. That's why you do not need the Hadith. So if she obey you, so you are saying to me that you Muslims, if your wife, she goes sleep around, and then you give her order to make tea for you, and she obey you, it's okay. She can't. Does, does it? Does it talk about tea? Well, she, she is doing ill conduct. What is ill conduct? Who knows? Uh -huh. But the message is the message is clear. The message is clear. Surely Allah is ever most high, most great. That's the message. <laughs> so that's what we read. What the message? What is the message? The message saying that's to you message. that if you that's have a wife, she is doing ill conduct. What, you can beat her. But if the husband is doing ill conduct, you cannot beat him. Correct? No, sir. It's it's a different context. Totally it's different. Not, it's not. This is the same chapter. The same word used in both chapter four, verse thirty-four, chapter four, verse one twenty-eight. It's exactly the same words. It is. If we change the translator to to use the same translator, here we go. Let me show you just to show you how stupid this cult is. I will go to Hilali Khan. Huh? Hilali Khan, let us see Hilali Khan. How are you, Hilali Khan? <laughs> what, what a stupid religion. So look at this. Here we go. So if the women fear a cruelty or, or destruction, this is Hilali Khan. Let's switch to other one. Uh, which one we choose? Let us see uh, other idiot. Uh, Why don't you do the translation of the Quran? I do not need translation. It's you who need translation, not me. I speak Arabic. No, if you think these are all wrong translations, maybe you should do the translation also. Well, can for you us, read in Arabic? Okay, let's read in Arabic then. What do you want? For us people who don't can know the, the it's, not my fault. it's not my it's not my fault. You are a Muslim who pray to Allah in Arabic, but you don't know Arabic. Who is the stupid here? Aren't you a person who pray to Allah five times in Arabic? Yeah. Okay. So how come you do not know Arabic? We just we just uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> it's coming. You just don't need to know what it's what it's saying. What do you mean to know? If you do not know what you are saying, you just said you do not know Arabic. So how you pray in Arabic, but you do not know what you are saying? Don't know what it's saying, but we we get the message. How you can get we the message if the message have to be in Arabic? 
No knows what it's saying. We don't need to know what's saying. We no, just got to... Okay, so how you can follow the message if you do not know what it's saying? The message is to be a good person. That's the message. What the heck? Where you heard that? If you do not know how to read the message, how you can know this is the per... to be a good person? Okay, let's go with good person. Let's go with yeah. a good a good person. Okay. Yes. Is it a good person? Is it a good person? That there is a guy, he say I'm a prophet. And if there is a females they like to have sex with me, they can come to my door. Is that okay? Maybe there's some hidden something hidden there. Who I don't know what is hidden. The penis is hidden. Really? The penis is not no. is, is not shown yet. What is what is hidden? When a person yes, he says a, I am a prophet, a, when a prophet he says I am a prophet of Allah. And Allah yeah. told me, any Muslim women, she like to do boom boom with me. My doors is always open. What is maybe it it's something? Maybe it's something deeper than that. What is that deeper? For sure, it's deep. It's going to put it somewhere. Tell us about the deeper. No, it's, no, it's, it's, it's like let's have a family chat, sir. Let's what? Let's have a family chat. Let's not go there because maybe what? there is something deeper there. Okay, tell me about the deeper you are. You see, I, I want to have a family chat, no problem. Deeper, is, deeper Muhammad is... Make, is Muhammad making a family here chat? Or when he says, if a woman, she offer herself to me, so I can F her? Is that a family chat? It doesn't say that, that word, does it? What it says, tell me what it says. Okay, show me in English, please. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Chapter 33, verse number 55. What is the point of this chapter? One second, it's coming. Yeah, I will let you read the, uh, the the verses. Read it loud, please. I will go to the door because I will have uh, something yes. to be delivered. Okay? okay, I will give you just for a minute. I will be hearing you. Go ahead. Thank Keep reading. You. Thank you. One All right. Yes, so I read it. The conclusion the now you received meaning, from this verse. The deeper meaning might be the message of God. What? This is the message of God? Yeah, message of God. Okay, the message of God, you can have sex with this and this and this and this and this and this and this. Okay, I want you to start no. from the beginning. It says here, yeah. we have made lawful for you your wives. Don't you think this message is too late? Already they are wives. Okay, good. Lawful for you your wives. What, what, do, you that, mean that's what okay. do you mean good? What do you mean good? The guys already have 13 wives at least. And now you are telling him, we made lawful for you your wives? We made lawful to you your wives. The ones you have already married, it's okay. It's good for you. It's we lawful for you. you. Okay, hold on. The guy is already married and he has 13 wives. Now, Allah, he decided to tell him, it's lawful for you? See, like you were not born at that time, so you don't know the context of the story again. My friend, uh, what context? It says, we made lawful for you, your wives, but the guy already have the wife. So what the point of this message? Shouldn't he say this message before he get married? Mm, I, we don't know. We don't know the real story. Uh, okay. And then, and those who yeah. you paid them their mahar, okay? Okay. And those, okay from, and those who they are, your captive slave. Yeah. Okay. okay. Why Muhammad want to sleep captive with captive slaves? Why Allah made it lawful for him? It's it, it, he's a noble man. Another, it's 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 some message so, story. So a, a noble mess. man, a noble man is the one who rape a captive woman. He doesn't say rape. Well, she is a captive slave. Captive. Yeah, she's you know a captive. captive you know what captive means? And, and by being, you know by what, being you know, with him, she will know, be enlightened. Do you know? Do you know what captive mean? A captive slave, by being with him, will be enlightened. Will be what? That's what I'm saying. Will be enlightened. Enlightened. So, when, if, so now, if, if, if somebody, if somebody capture your wife, if somebody, of if somebody capture yeah. your wife, my friend, I'm not trying to insult, but if somebody yes. capture your wife and he sleep with her, he is, he is, he is, he is uh, this is good for her. I'm not Muhammad. 
عم المهمد محمد because his penis is special he can rape women and that is an honor it's for him it's, 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 it's all about enlightenment it's oh, like enlightenment. a okay. what, yes, what, in, what does enlightenment have to do with raping those women it doesn't say rape does it say rape well she's a captive free her and yeah, ask her she, ask her she's a if, if she's she a, is a free if she is a free then you man. ask her you, then if she is a free then you ask her do you like to sleep with me if she say yes then yes but not when she is a slave can she say no of course she can say no but it's lawful and she will okay. not say no because okay. she's hold on she, in the front of everybody is, in the front of everybody show me one verse in the quran is saying you can say no as a slave to your master about sex or about anything go ahead it's this verse is not talking about slave and master with muhammad it's it's says, those are slaves unfortunate people it says you, your your people. your right hand possess your right hand possess yeah. so muhammad now already have 13 wives allah giving him a license to have sex with those uh, slaves who he yeah. possessed them by you know by, by capturing them those and are the unfortunate people that he's enlightening he's what that he's is is giving the message to the also, unfortunate people. Oh, so Muhammad, he cannot give a message unless he put his penis in their vagina. No, he doesn't say that. Why a not? lot of women didn't have husbands. Their husbands got killed and but bought. He did not, but he did not marry them. They are just his slaves. So he's, he's them. This yeah, he's, he's says, not, This is why it says the slave. It doesn't say. It doesn't say. Doesn't say those who they are women who you free them and you marry them. It says the slaves. Your right hand possess. So they are at that moment. His right hand possess. So you are saying to us that your prophet he spread his message through his semen. No, I'm not saying that. You are saying that. So why he I'm... need to sleep with them if he have already many wives? And why Allah giving him license for such a thing? Maybe it's not even about sleeping. It's about uh, who knows. Uh, 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 what do you mean? Who knows? It says it's made lawful for you, your wives. It's not about sleeping. It's made lawful to you, your wives, to whom you have paid their mayor. Okay. What the word yes, thank you, ha, I mean, yes, thank you. To have sex, yeah. Thank you. So why are you saying yeah. about sleeping? So whom you write in for this, you can sleep with them. You okay, can... But you just said, maybe it's not about sleeping. So the word yes, thank you, means sleeping. That's what the verse is saying. Okay. Yeah, and then we continue. And then we continue. Remember, it's, it's you who said to have sex, right? The word yes, thank you, ha, I mean, to have sex, correct? Okay, yeah. Okay. okay, here it says, and any woman, any woman, a believing woman, she offer herself to the Prophet to have sex to do nikah. And okay. any believing so, woman, any believing woman, she offer herself to the Prophet. Okay, I that's you, good. I ask you what the word yastankah mean? You said to have sex with her, to F her. Okay, why, so. Why a believing woman, why Allah, he made the privilege only for Muhammad, that any believing woman, she can come at his door and knock at the door, and she say to him, "If I want because he's the only prophet, there are no no other prophets. So because he is a prophet, he can if all Muslim women. No, because he's a prophet, he can he can uh, he can. Uh, there's a lot of wisdom there. There's a lot, there's of, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of wisdom. There's a lot of story. There's a lot of uh, good things that. I'm that are... now, because if he is a prophet, Allah given him a privilege for him alone to if all Muslim women. Why? Uh, f maybe he's bringing some virtues. He's maybe bring, he's, he brings some what? He bring what? Virtues. There are virtues there. Virtues. There what is that? Mean? Yeah. Virtues. What is Virtue that mean? means noble things. So when you f all Muslim women, you are doing noble thing. Yeah. Uh, so Muhammad he well, like, so Muhammad he opened a charity. It's called penis charity. Any Muslim woman she is horny, you go to Muhammad. Muhammad will f you, and that is the virtues yeah. you are saying. You have to talk to, to God and the Prophet about this. Well, I'm, I'm not talking to you saying. about this because your Prophet is dead and your God doesn't I'm exist. Judge, I'm not here to judge God and Prophet like this. I don't care. You are the one who just said that your Prophet is doing good work by effing Muslim women. Why do you want to do that? What's wrong? There's no. Well, isn't enough all the women he have, the slaves, the wives, the cousins he sleep with. Now in the top of that, any Muslim women she offer herself to if her, and you are saying because, to me this is charity. The women, all the women want to want, want the mom, want the prophet. All the women want the, to be all the Muslim women. They want the, the prophet. All the Muslim women. People. So are you saying to me that Muslim women are a bunch of whore? No, because because they, they want to be close to God. 
because they see so, his nobility so you see are his honesty. to me you are saying yeah. to me in islam you can be close to god if you f muhammad no i'm not saying that you are saying that. saying that i asked you why they want to f muhammad you said because they want to be close to god they want to they want to learn from him they want to be close to him they like if there's close, a they want to be close to learn or close they want to be close see, in the bed or close to learn Hold on, this is about effing. You are the one who said to have sex. Yes, thank you. How you said, I asked you what it's mean. You said to have sex. Okay. Long term so relationship. You learn a lot. What they will learn from Muhammad when he have sex with them. Go ahead. But sex is not the only thing, is it? But you, but it says here it's about sex. Yes, thank you. Ha. It does not say anything else. It says, yes, thank you. Ha. Which means to F her again and again and again. It's a continued verb. Yes, thank you. Ha. I asked you what is thank you. I mean, it says to have sex. And it's a continued verb. Wonderful. So now, what, do you know? what, what, do you learn, what, what she will learn what from the Prophet, women, Muslim, Muslim women come in by like... thousands. Muslim women come in by millions. Does it say Muhammad is exist today? And there's more than a billion Muslim women, maybe, or a, 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 a billion Muslim population. Let us say there's half of them is, is women. So now we have five or six hundred Muslim women. They are horny to F Muhammad. What is that for? Yeah, but we don't know. We don't know what, what, what sex with the Prophet is like. Ah, we don't know that. Is. So you send yeah. your wife to the Prophet. He have sex with her and then she come back to you to tell you. No, no, no. It's, it's, I'm not saying that. Well, you I'm not saying you that. You know how have sex with the prophet look like? Who care? So you are. What, what is the purpose of this? You said we do not know how have sex with the prophet will look like. Do you think he will use his nose? I mean, sex is sex. He will use his penis. So why your wife? She have to go and sleep with this man just because he's prophet. You said all Muslim women they want to sleep with Muhammad. Why? So you are saying to me if your sex wife is today, sex, if, if sex for an ordinary if person. Muhammad, sex is sex for uh, an listen, ordinary person. That's listen, what I'm saying. Listen, listen. If Muhammad is exist today, and I'm not trying to insult, please don't don't take me as an insult. If if Muhammad is exist today, and your wife she wished to sleep with him, you will not say no. No, he doesn't exist today. I'm not saying he exists today. If he exists today, if he come, no. Why are and, you saying and if? Your wife, if? And your wife she decide. To sleep, yeah, exactly. And your wife she decide to sleep with him. Are you there to say no? Who, who uh, which, which husband said yes? Who was the husband at Muhammad's time well, who said yes? And he believed in women. And you are the one who said to me, all Muslim women, they like that. So if your that, wife should like to sleep with the Prophet, according, according to Islamic books, it says, if the Prophet, his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her immediately so the Prophet, not, he can F her. That's not in the Quran. I don't care. This is the understanding of Islam. And you agree, you just told me all Muslim women at that time they want to sleep with the Prophet, correct? Yeah, like women are like that, don't you know that? Oh, women, yeah. women, so Muslim a lot women, of, when they see, when, when, like when, that. so Muslim women at that time, according to you, when they saw Muhammad, all of them they want to if him and nobody want to, so all of them they will cheat their husbands. No, it, 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 it's the, it's, it's, it's a, the nobility of the man, he's, the, he's, the, he's God's man. He's God's man. He's not so, an ordinary person. Okay. It's not so an ordinary sex. The, the God she man is not Islam, ordinary person. The God man Islam is, the, is, the, is the guy who sharp his penis. He would have f every woman believing in him. This is God man in Islam. No, you are you are you are you are reading this out of context. You he's a very said that to me. I'm asking he's you why all Muslim women they want to sleep with Muhammad. You said because he's a God man. So you are saying to me that God man in Islam have a definition. Because he's a God man, all believers who follow this God man, they want to F this God man. Yeah, because because it's very attractive to be close to the God man. Ah, so by F in Muhammad, you became closer to God. Maybe. Who knows? Only God so, knows. So Only God wife, knows. So God. Let me ask you then. If your wife, she go and sleep with Muhammad, that will make her close to God. And then you sleep with your wife, that will make you close to Muhammad, correct? But where does it say married, married believing woman? It doesn't say married believing woman. It says believing women. Believing it doesn't women. say married believing women. Yeah, it's, it's open license for everybody. Yeah, but it says believing women. It doesn't say married believing women. Does it say, does it say single? Single, a single woman? No. Yeah, but it's a, you are assuming that it says... No, I'm not assuming, I'm not assuming. This is why I said to you in your Islamic explanation says, if the Prophet, his eyes fall uh, into let a me woman, say, let me say something to you. If the Prophet, his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her, so the Prophet, he can F her. 
Now Let me say something. I can show you the difference right now. You're reading the religion with logic. There's no religion in the world based on logic. Okay. That's so the problem. You're saying to me, this, so what is the logic behind that if you sleep with There's Muhammad, no you became a closer There's to God? No, okay, nothing to do with logic. Okay, no logic, no logic. So why you are saying to me then the reason that women they want to sleep with him because they want to be close to God if there's no logic? We don't know. We don't know what the story is about. We do, we were not there at that time. We didn't okay, see it. But happening. you are telling me now that the women they want to yeah. sleep with Muhammad because they yeah, want to be closer to God. Women, women, most women, I would say, are attracted to famous and big people, right? Attracted Rich people, to, famous people, attract, big people. Attract, Okay. And, so and, Muhammad, and is okay, so Muhammad is a, a Muhammad get talent, and now Muhammad because he get talent, all Muslim women they want to have sex with him. Is that this is what you are saying? All, all slaving women might want to jump to him. Yeah, so some yeah. of them might. Okay. Uh, so what? Yeah. Is your wife That's next you, to you? Yeah. Is, is your wife next to you? Do she feel like she want to jump on Muhammad? No, she's married to me. It doesn't say married living women. Does it say that? No, it That's says that it says a woman, which means women married and single, a single, they are a welcome. It doesn't say this. Why it doesn't say single women? Why your prophet did not say single women then? So why he didn't say married women then? Because all of them both are welcome. Because both so of them are welcome. Women, we okay, hold on. Hold on. Of now, can, okay, now women they offer themselves to your prophet to if them, then yeah. your prophet he made this verse. Because. If, because all the women are coming to his door, so that's the verse. That's how the verse came. Okay, let them come in. Oh, that's the okay. They were coming in droves. Oh. They just wanted to be close to the prophet. Everybody wants to be close to the prophet. Oh. So, okay. so that's why, how the verse came. Okay, let them come in. Oh. Yeah, well, that's very nice of Allah. So it's not, yeah. it's not it's not Muhammad who made this verse. It's Allah he made this verse, right? It's Allah, Allah, Allah because Allah knows everything. Allah is looking at it. So Allah he is encouraging group sex. No, Allah, he doesn't say that. Again, he doesn't say that. All of them they are welcome. You, you, just, you, you are the yeah, one who just said all of them they are welcome. Yes. Huh? Yeah, you are welcome. Come on over. Yeah. Uh, okay, come on over. He doesn't okay. say group sex. It says a group sex because it says all maybe, of them they are welcome. All of them they are welcome. Some, maybe for a prophet that's okay or as well. Who knows? Okay. Well, Allah, so, well, Allah so in his... if, uh, uh, how many you think every day, Muhammad? How many women they will knock at his door to f him every day? Basically, maybe one million. Maybe so what's wrong? Man. So how Muhammad will have sex with them he's without not, being having? He's not a normal person. He's not an ordinary man. He's not what? He's not an ordinary man. So he can f one million women in one day? Maybe. Who knows yeah. what he can do? Yeah. What his power is. You know what? I can do nine hundred ninety-nine thousand. <laughs> One million is too much for me to be honest with you. This yeah. is too much, really. I yeah. don't think I can. I, I'm I don't, to I don't you think I can have that number. Because if you talk to uh, me about Christianity, then then it's even worse, much much more worse. Uh, like what? And if you, if you go with the logic, if you go with the logic, it's uh, even so so terrible that I can't even tell you. But oof. but we don't follow That's any deep. religion. We That's don't follow deep. any religion with logic. That's the okay. Let me ask you. So Muhammad, Deep after after I make all Muhammad after he made all those verses after Muhammad he made all those verses about effing, was he able to f anyone? Oh God, you are still there. I'm still there. Are you? I'm here. You are. Yeah. There. yeah. Okay. To ask me. Ask me. After all I don't, this, all this I was scenario, not all were this, you, were you, all, so the, all this scenario about effing and God is involved in the effing of Muhammad and Muslim women they want to go to closer to Allah by effing Muhammad. We got that now. Was Muhammad even able to if any of them? Who knows? Prove it. I don't know. You okay. don't know. No okay. knows. Isn't it the Quran says that Muhammad he was not the father of any of your men? Which verse is that? Let's let's go to that verse. You have to win the debate, sir. Uh, you know, you you are the winner, my friend. Always. No, no, no. You, you are the best. I'm. I really, I, I really like you. You are a very good person. You are amazing. But but you don't understand read, that it's not a logic. Me. It's a read for me. Yeah. Okay. Well, don't praise me too much because you might send your wife to me too because I'm amazing. <laughs> come on, I'm not. I'm amazing. No, I'm not. So your wife should come jump to me. Come on, don't do that. So read with me. <laughs> chapter okay, 30, okay. chapter thirty three verse number forty. Yeah. Muhammad is not the father of any man among you, but he's the messenger of Allah. 
Okay, so the last... he spent his life if in women, or he was if in nothing. There, there is a purpose. Allah knows the purpose. Why is not the father of any man? Allah okay, knows the purpose. Muhammad, so what is the purpose of all women to f him if he cannot even have have, have sex? Maybe, maybe he doesn't want to produce any children. Like maybe that? Allah is not in, in, in Allah's plans. What do we know? Maybe, maybe, maybe the guy he is, uh, you know, he is effing all women. And after all this effing, okay. So you, don't you think that Muhammad was maybe doing it in the wrong location, maybe in their nose? No, it, it, it that, that that that's I, uh, let's. I, I don't know what to say. It's, what I, I mean, after all this drama and God write articles. Women, they offer themselves. The women, they are lined up in the door. Take me, prophet. Take me, prophet. Please look at my boobs. Look, they are so big. Look at my skirt, my legs. They are so nice. And women, they are fighting over Muhammad. And now, after all of this, the guy he could not even have a baby. It's not in Allah's plans. It's what to have a baby. It's what it's not in Allah's plans to have a baby for Muhammad. So it's Allah plans so to make Muhammad penis happy, but he could not make him happy to have a baby. Which one is more important? Allah's plans to to satisfy the women, to make them happy, to to spread the religion, to spread the message, to make them bring okay. them into nobility. Well, I know, I know, oh, I know, I know that you don't believe in the hadith, but the hadith confirm that Muhammad he cannot satisfy the women, and this is the yeah, problem in front of you. Hold on, the, the, you're, you're, a, you're, a, you're, a, you're a prophet wife, you're a prophet wife. Your prophet even wife, if, she said, even if does the women right, hold like on? That. Some your your blue, prophet, blue, yeah. Abdul, listen. Your prophet wife, she said, does women get this charge? It's hadith. It's so, hadith. Who, so who would write a hadith like that? Imagine how how crazy that person is. Someone who's writing something like that. Imagine okay, his. I thing. will tell you. I will tell you who will write a hadith like this. Muslim idiots. Yeah, yeah. yeah I but agree of, with you. But all of you are idiots. I agree with you. Okay. But, so now, but, so, so uh, now what, is my, um, what is my problem? Your wife, a prophet, she said that. Your wife, prophet, she said, how in the world the woman gets a discharge? That means Muhammad, he was never able to make her come. Again, you are going to so, the hadith. So and, Muhammad, and, Muhammad, he had a long line of women in the front of his door to F him. Then they go inside the room. What Muhammad do exactly? They never who have would charge. Write about sex. Tell me how stupid that person would be writing a this about sex. Imagine. My friend, my friend is, yeah. he is a stupid or the one who made the Quran because the Quran is about sex too. We just showed you a verse about women lining up to F Muhammad and you did not see that is stupid. So how come this about, one is a stupid and the Quran is not? About sex. That's, that's about message. What message if, it says to if her? I ask you what the word is. I ask you, I ask you what the word is. Thank you, how I mean. It says to have sex. So now this is message. Yeah, maybe, maybe there is, maybe just a touch can deliver a message. Who knows? Okay, listen. Yeah. When Muhammad wife, she say, how in the world women get discharged? Don't you think there's a mystery is exposed here that Muhammad, he is in this ability to do boom boom? No, after 300 years, who would know? Okay, let, anything. Us, let us, let us book the dot together. Muhammad could not no. have sons. The Quran confirmed that. Do Muhammad he did have sons. The Quran confirmed that. Right? Listen, the Quran yeah, confirmed. The Quran confirmed. The Quran confirmed that he don't have sons. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. And now we look in the Hadith that confirmed the Quran that Muhammad he cannot do it because they are they are reading the Quran and they are coming up with their Hadith. They oh, okay. they make it up by reading the Quran. It's not okay. confirmation. Okay, let, let me ask you, how many times you pray a day? I know, I know it's three in, 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 in the Quran and five in the Hadith. Okay, why you pray uh, five times then? I don't know. I don't know. It's, 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 it's a custom. It's, it's a tradition. It's a cultural thing. It's, ah. it's, 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 it's followed that way because of the custom, because so of the tradition. You, so you Muslim, you don't follow? follow the hadith. I'm, I'm not denying it that Muslims do follow the Hadith. But at these, you cannot, you don't know which ones are fake and which ones are good, mm. because they are, they are about sex, they are about terrible things, they are about stupidity. So, mm. so let's leave all of them because okay. if you one mentioned to me the word stupidity, let us go oh with the word. Stu let us go with the word stupidity. Is Allah is a smart or a stupid? Allah is the God. Allah is smart, of course. All right. Where we can yeah. find the location of the sunset? 
the location of the sunset. Yeah. Okay, the the uh, we can find it everywhere. Okay, so why Allah says that there is a messenger of His, He went and He found where the sun, the where the place where the sun set. The yeah, Zul Qurnan. You're talking about Zul Qurnan. Yeah. Uh, what what's, what's Qurnan mean? Do you know? Uh, Alexander the Great, uh, no, the no. man with the two horns. Okay, the man with the two horns. Have you ever heard of a guy who's named the man with two horns? No, the, because because the Romans had these helmets. How, so the how, Arabs how we know first? How we know first that he's a man? How we know that he's a man? He, I don't know. So why you are saying just man? A, so why you are saying the man? Because, because the Arabs used to say the of, of the Romans. They, that's how they because they used to have helmets with the two horns. But you said that you follow only, only the Quran. Yeah. Okay. This, I'm I'm talking, I'm talking about history. You know, right. I'm not talking about these. Uh, history yeah. Yeah, okay so now uh, it says this guy they asked Muhammad about the command Zul Qurnayn yes Allah told him I will tell you something about his account which means his story surely yes. surely we establish him in the land and we grant him the means of uh, uh, an access for everything so Allah gave him those things right right okay and then he follow a course which means a way a direction until when he reached the place where the sun set where is that Everywhere. So what the Quran is saying? Because he was traveling during the day. What? He was traveling during the day. Ah, but and no, this guy describing his lifetime story about a victory. Yeah, so he it, went it, to that. He wanted the direction, my friend. No, because it doesn't, say, it doesn't say it doesn't say until the sunset. It says until he reached where the sunset. Yeah, until he reached where the sunset, he was mm -hmm. traveling during the day, and in the evening, does it he reached here, the place. Does it say here the place? Does it say the word place? Yeah, he reached the place where the sun was setting. So that place at that no, time was no, in the it evening. Does, it doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. It says huh? until he reached the place huh? where the sun set. It's, it's not really he reached, he reached, that place. He reached the, evening. the place. He reached the place where the sun set. Correct? At that place, the time was the evening time. Hmm. But it doesn't yeah. say it was evening, it doesn't say it was morning. It no, says until he reached until he reached the place so where the sun set. That we, we understand that the sun doesn't set anywhere. Hmm. It's about our intelligence to understand it, it is this way. So why are they saying that? Hmm. Hmm? So why are they saying that? <laughs> so I explained this to you, yeah? No, you not. It's the evening time. It's the evening. He traveled during the day and he reached the place where the sun was setting. Where where you are coming to me with this day? This guy, this is talking about his life journey, not only one day. He spent his Until, life traveling. He spent his, life, he spent his life is traveling. And then the first direction he went until he found where the, the setting place of the sun. Reached the place. Until when he reached the place where the okay, sun so is setting. So based on your story, Alexander the Great, he have two days travel and he's done. No, then maybe he traveled again. Well, what do you mean? Here we go, because here in the Quran it says, until he reached the sun sitting place, and then he continued, and then he changed the direction, and then until he found the sitting place of the rising sun. Yeah, so be, be, if, I mean, if, it's if, if this is if this is compare speak about the the the, the journey of Alexander the Great, that's mean journey of the Great. It was twenty four hours, the rising of the sun and the sunset. That's it. Yes, of of course. This is of the course. story of Alexander the Great. He was only traveling for one day. No, then he traveled the next day also, but he, it's, a, it's a story about one day until, <laughs> uh, until he reached the okay, resin okay, place. Okay, okay. It says yeah. here that he found the sun sitting in a dirty, muddy, boiling water, spring of water. Yes, yes, that's a reflection. Um, if you look at the reflection. water, you can see the sunset. Okay. See, well, if, you, if, you're near the, if you're near the beach, Okay. If you're near the beach, you will see the sun going down the ocean. Okay. Yeah. Do you, can you see the word beach there? Does it say the word beach in yes. the Quran? No, or but but that's our intelligence to assume that. Yeah, it's near the ocean. It's okay. near the water. Okay, I will water. go with you. You said uh, you said the word ocean. You said the word ocean. Does it say maybe, anywhere? Maybe. Does it say? Maybe. Does it say? Does it say anywhere in the Quran in Arabic the word ocean? Maybe it was a pond. I'm sorry. It was. I'm what? sorry. I made a mistake. It was a pond. It was a pond of water. A okay. Pond? A pond? So it's a pond of water where the sun, where the reflection of the water clearly mm. says so you that the if sun we, if, we have, if we have a small jacuzzi 
and yeah. that makes Alexander the Great find the sun sitting in that jacuzzi? No, it's not going inside the jacuzzi. You can see the reflection of the sun setting from us. No, it says he found the sun. He found the sun, not the reflection. Are you are you fabricating Quran now? No, it says he found, he, found, he found it sitting in a dirty, murky water. So where is the water reflection coming from? Are you making your own words now? So there is a so I'm let me explain this to you mm. very calmly. Okay. Mm. I'm sitting in a valley and there's a there's a lake somewhere like yeah. after maybe five miles from me yeah, yeah this is not a lake by the way this is where the prophet piss his this, piss is so big you know this is not a lake is it is it yellow is that, is, that, is, that, okay. is that lake you are talking about is yellow where does it say yellow i don't know because the, the prophet urine was so big when you read he spent for 10 hours i can show that now you're, changing, now you're changing the topic Okay, I'm not because you said a lake. What lake? It says a spring of water. Where you get me the lake? Where you get me, water, where you get me the lake water, from? It says a spring. Water, spring. Water. Sp it says a spring. Does it say spring? Okay, spring of water. Okay, how the spring became a lake? Spring of water can be a lake as well. No, spring is where the water came from. The lake can be happen maybe later after. But the spring okay, is so, where water okay. coming from. It's a so, small hole in the ground where water is coming from. Correct. Okay, so let's be calm and let me explain to you. Uh -huh. So sitting in a valley and five miles away, I see a spring of water. So I can see the sun setting inside. I can see the sun setting inside the spring of water, but it doesn't mean that's going inside the water. So why he's saying he found it sitting in the spring of water? He, he found he's, it sitting he's, not saying, he's not saying he thought, he's not saying uh, uh, no. it appeared to be... He says, he says he found it sitting in spring. Yeah, I, 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 I'm telling you, if I'm in a valley and I see a pond or, or a spring of water mm -hmm. and the sun is setting, I'll find it setting inside the water. Really? But going inside, but it, it will look like that. I will you know fall. I'll find I'm it. At your, I'm looking at your it, picture. I can tell down. you have a very, very eye. They have, you have a person eyes. I mean, so when you look at the spring of water, and it is the sign of the sunset, you yeah. you will see it as if it is going in the water. Yes. Okay. Why Allah saying that? Allah is saying that he found it setting. Okay. So he found setting. He so found, if I he found it, it where sitting in the spring setting. of water. Was this is a true find Allah reporting or this is a false fabricated but, find? It doesn't say that the sun set down inside the water does it, it say says, inside uh, the water? it says it says he found it sitting in 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 a spring, in in a spring of he found it setting in a spring of water okay and? so 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 what's wrong with that so, so it, what, it's you, like wait, you when, go near water, when i say i found the uh, rabbit you, when i found the rabbit sitting in the box where where is the rabbit was but this was written 1400 was, years ago. Who cares? Who cares? So are you saying to me because 1400 years ago, it's what it's okay to be the stupid? Arabic grammar, Arabic grammar was changed much, much, ah, many, many years afterwards. The Arabic grammar changed very much. So this is a mistake. Yeah. At that time, it was correct. Now it's wrong. Hmm? At that time, the Arabic grammar was different. Now it's different grammar. There was, no grammar. There was not even grammar at that time. Yeah, correct. I agree so, with you. So, 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 so do people not. who so, are you the saying people to me? Are you saying to me, Allah, because he, Allah, he have a problem, because the Arabic is not good to explain what you want to say. So it, it make him look stupid because he could not find. No, good have a problem because Muslims, Muslims don't don't view it like this. They do. No, they don't. They they they, they believe in it. They are believers. No. They don't go with logic. Just no, like Christians. No, they do. Here we go. Your prophet, he believed in that. Let us go to the hadith. And then he will say to me, Again, believe in the hadith. Again, looking at the Quran, and and uh, then they're coming up with who these stupid hadith. Who understand, who understand the Quran meaning better than your prophet? You? No, it's not my prophet. That's what you say. It's not the prophet who said these things. It's somebody who wrote okay. these things. 300 years later why 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 muslims why muslim they say the prophet says that because muslims are stupid what shall i say are you into a muslim too yeah and you are stupid then there are some, some there are some good muslim yeah there are some good muslims there are some stupid muslims okay just like but, but just like every other religion okay but you so, can so you are saying there is uh, there's a billion muslim they are stupid and you are the only smart muslim 
I'm not saying I'm smart. I'm just saying that the people who are so writing this. Saying, so how are you saying you're stupid? Are you talking saying about you're, sex? How are you saying you're, you're stupid? stupid thing? Sex you, has nothing okay. to do with religion. Are you saying you are not smart? Are you saying you are stupid? I'm, I'm very stupid. You are not stupid? I'm very stupid. Uh, very stupid. Okay, read with me carefully. It says, I was sitting behind Allah Messenger. By the way, I advise you always to sit behind Muhammad Messenger because he if everybody, as you see. So be careful. Again, okay, again, you are going to the hadith. All right. Because they they, they read the Zul Quran story. Who who knows who, who, who this guy was? Who wrote this hadith? Who knows? Who knows? Do you who, know? Who knows? Who, the, who, knows who wrote the Who knows who wrote the, the Quran? Who knows who's the guy reporting? Who knows who wrote the Quran? Who who was Abu Dhar? Do, does anyone know who Abu Dhar was? Yeah, the father of the ants. Nobody. He have sex with huh? the ant and he have babies from the ant. See, see nobody knows who Abu Dhar was. Okay, Abu Dhar. Who's Muhammad is? Who's Muhammad is? He not even live at that time. Who's Muhammad is? Muhammad is the priest one. He's the messenger of God. But I ask you, who is he? You do not know. I ask you, what his first name? You do not know. What his last name? You do not know. We are, we are believers. We are not supposed to know these things. We just need Why to not? know. Okay, it's not supposed this... to know who is Abu Dhar too. It's not supposed to know who is Al Bukhari too. It's not supposed to know who is Abu Bakr too. It's not supposed to know anything then. So what the point of this religion? Now, my friend, listen carefully. The serial prophet is explaining the, the the Quran says, I was, Abu Dhar, he said, I was sitting behind Allah Messenger for his security, by the way, I was doing that because Muhammad is very, very aggressive if you sit in front of him. I'm telling you, be careful. So he was sitting behind the Messenger of Allah who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting he asked do you know where the sun said this said i replied allah and his apostle know best he said it's set in a spring of warm water uh, sir do you know where samarkand is samarkand yeah it's next to samar yeah. and kand is next to yeah. it samarkand is hundreds of miles away from mecca yeah uh -huh. and there's a guy sitting there in samarkand coming up with this say hadith hmm. several 300 years abu, later abu there is from samarkand no, not Abu Dhar, this Sayyid al Bukhari. <laughs> yeah? He's sitting in Samarkand no, and first, never been to Makkah. First of all, first of all, this is not, so, first of all, this is not Sahih al Bukhari. Secondly, if if, okay. uh, if if Sahih al Bukhari is the most accurate, he is collecting the hadith. He's not making hadith. Al Bukhari is a person who make a book to collect yeah. what Muslims they said before him. He is not yeah, making he's the collecting, hadith. He's collecting sitting in his office in Samarkand. Does it matter where he said? Yeah, and and he never he was born three hundred years later, and he okay. came up with this wild wild stories. Okay, uh, okay. Let me ask you: the Quran today you have is written by whom? Which year? Uh, I think it was published uh, by Al Azhar University in nineteen nineteen. No, 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 no. I mean, the, the, this is a reprint. The original, the Quran, the Muslims they have. Muslim today they recite. The, uh, yeah, the, the most, the most the recitation, uh, uh, the recitation of Hafs. Hafs, okay. This is this yeah. is first time became a print of a book when? Uh, I think nineteen twenty four. When when? Nineteen twenty four by Al Azhar University. Nineteen twenty four. Before that, it was not a book. I don't think so. Okay, I will go with you. So how you yeah. can be sure that this is your Prophet Quran? The things that we are sure about, we are not sure about anything. The things that we are sure about is the message. The message By the way, is 1924. This is my birthday. I was born in that year. <laughs> it, must be blessed, it must be. It must be a blessed year then, because this is when the Quran start printing. I, I, you know, yeah. I know. I know. I'm coming for a reason. The Quran printed in the same year I was born. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. You know, it was like a message from Allah to me. Like I'm born. I'm like I'm coming out, and the Quran is being being printed too. Unbelievable. Okay, continue. You must have a very long white beard. Long light. light long what? Long white beard. Don't remind me, my friend. I just today I got a ticket from the police because my beard was blocking the highway. Oh wow! And it's yeah. very white because you're born in 1924. No, no, actually, because I I color my beard like your prophet. I put onion and henna. <laughs> and henna. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a prophet? Why your prophet he make his his his, his beard he colored by henna? Why he wanna be blonde? Yeah, another another hadith. Uh, so what? See, the, see, the hadiths are talking about the color of the beard. The are talking about the sex. Aren't you the one yeah. who said we follow custom when you pray five times? Yeah, we pray five times. We, pray, we follow the custom. We follow the. It's in the hadith. The custom is in the hadith. Oh, I know. It's, so, it's from the. So, I know so it's from the hadith. It's not up to you. Not up to you to what can we do if, we follow, if the majority of the Muslims are following that? What shall we do then? Hmm. We cannot do anything. We okay. have to just okay. 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 follow listen, it. Listen, listen, listen. Okay, listen. So, do you reject the word hadith? 
Quran is a hadith. I know where you're going. Okay. So how you accept the Quran? Well, the Quran is a hadith. But but the difference is the Quran is the word of God and hadith is not. That's the difference. Okay, hold on. Let us see if the Quran is the word of God or not. Let us go back to zero. Mm -hmm. I ask. You still. I ask. You still. And I, you still and have not won. Hold on. I think this is your first time that you still have not won the debate in such a long time. This is your first time, I think. No, my friend, uh, we, 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 are, we are losing with you for sure. <laughs> because I'm, I'm honestly very stupid. <laughs> you are the winner. <laughs> okay. No, listen. I wanna, uh, I wanna, I wanna ask you here uh, about uh, this uh, verse. Uh, I want you to tell me what is this verse is about. I'm really confused and I'm I'm very worried. Yeah, I'll explain it. I have a I have a grandfather. Mm -hmm. He died standing up and he was holding a stick. We spoke to him last, we spoke to him last month. He did not answer. I go to his so room. I spoke to him again. He did not answer. I said, "Do you want to eat?" My grandma she asked him, "Do you like to eat?" He did not answer. His friends came to take him for hunting. He did not answer. People come, goes, he don't answer. He's standing holding a stick. Do you think he's dead? Is your grandfather? Yeah. Uh, maybe he's not human. Ah. So how does stupid Quran speak about Solomon that he died? Standing on a stick and nobody discovered that he is dead and the termite they ate his stick. The another miracle of God. This is a miracle. Termite eating his stick is a miracle. Yeah, just maybe maybe it's a message. Who knows what it is? So what is the message of termite eating the stick of Solomon? And Solomon is standing and he's died, he's dead for a year. And this guy is a yeah. king. This guy is a king, not like my grandfather. My grandfather is not a king. He, you know, he, this guy is. A, what? My grandfather was a pirate. My, my, gran my grandfather is alive. My grandfather is scared of the king. Pirate, Follow the you know, king. Obey, obey the king. What? Follow the king. Obey the king. Be scared of the king. He's not dead. Maybe that's the message. Who knows? But isn't it obvious to know that the king is dead after two minutes if you speak to him and his eyes not moving and his lips is not moving? And he's not, even, he's not That's even farting, but he's not moving. So how? So wh wh why anyone will scare from the, that person? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not scared. Maybe something else. Who knows? No, it says, it says years ago. that they did not see that he is dead until the termite they ate his steak. So the purpose of this is to make them not to know that he is dead. Can yeah, you really believe? Can you really believe that there's a person standing? I will let him stand in no problem you know i will give him some help to stand for a year and can you really believe that the people around him his wives his ministers his uh, leaders they did not notice that he is dead just because he is standing not with logic again it's about not logic it's about uh, belief so those people are stupid you know they don't notice anything yeah you're, you're talking dead. about logic again I'm not, so what no, logic? what logic what logic what logic I mean, any logic I mean, uh, listen, if you if okay, you're talking about okay, logic, then you, hold on, hold on. why the termite are eating his steak because obviously the guy is dead he doesn't even afraid of him the, the the ants will not come to me if i am nearly alive so i understand him even the termite they notice that this guy is dead is gone let us eat his steak so the termite they notice he is dead and the people around him and his wife they did not notice Maybe not. Ah, Maybe not. You're yeah. going with logic again. Again, you're going with logic. It's, it's, religion has nothing to do with logic. Ah, just like Christianity, just like ah, Jews. Okay, I see. Like, I see. Um, I see. Yeah, yeah, if you start following logic, then you become uh, an atheist. Listen, do you have a stake at home, Shazi? Yeah. Uh, maybe I do. You do. Are, are you? Do you promise me when yeah. you die to hold standing when you when you are? No, but I, I'm, not, I'm not Solomon. Why not? I don't know. Ask God. Maybe, maybe when you go to heaven, you will ask Him. Well, Allah can make miracles to you too. Do you have termite at home? Maybe He's not going to make any miracles anymore. Who knows? Ah, so this was a miracle, supposedly. Supposedly, who knows? Who knows what it was? Mm -hmm. You're you're going with logic. Okay. 
So you, yeah. uh, you know, I, I, will, I will ask you just one more last question. How can there be a how can there be a distraction with logic? Tell me that. I'm not being distraction. Okay. This is this is not only stupid. This behind is stupid. This is not even good for kids. Listen, you you almost time you say you almost time you almost time you say that Muhammad he destroyed the idols around the Kaaba, correct? Right. Yeah, he did. Did Allah ever order Muslims to have idols? No. So is that why Muhammad destroyed the idols, the, the, the statues? Yes. So is having statues against Islam? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. How sure you are? 100%. Okay. Chapter so, 34, chapter 34, yeah. chapter 34, verse number yes. 13. It says yeah. that Allah, he ordered his messenger, Solomon, yeah. Yeah. To build temples have statues in them. Yeah. But yeah. Maybe, I, at, I maybe, at, you, that time, maybe at that time it was okay. Ah, but you just said to me you are sure Islam is against yeah, that. Because Allah Islam came after Muhammad. Yeah, Islam came after Muhammad. It, it, maybe at that time, at the so time those follow Muhammad. Islam came after Muhammad. Before, before, Muhammad, before, Muhammad, before Muhammad, there was no Islam. There was no Islam, of course. So it, what, it, what it was then? Muhammad, Muhammad brought Islam to us. That's why it's the last prophet. What it was before Islam, before Muhammad then? Uh, there were pagans, there were uh, different kinds of religions. There were, so, so uh, you, Solomon was not a Muslim prophet, was a pagan? I don't know. I don't know. There was no Islam before that. I'm asking you. There was no Islam before Muhammad. Ah, okay. See. Yeah. So, the, so the Muslim, they lie to us when they say Adam was a prophet. That's Hadith, again. Mm, that's Hadith. Yeah, because why Muhammad came if there was Islam? Oh, uh, okay. Mm. Yeah. So, based on you, Abraham was was not a Muslim prophet. No. Okay. And, Abraham was and, not a Muslim prophet. And, Muslims and, came. Muslims and, became Muslims after Muhammad. Forty uh, years of Muhammad. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Abraham was the prophet. Isaac was the prophet. Moses was not a prophet. They okay. were prophets, but they were they were prophets, but they were not Muslim prophets. Oh, uh, okay. But, they were prophets. So who? But who was the one who gave them the books? Uh, Allah. Okay. So he gave no, them but, books. But books of all of them. All of them got the books. There are oh. only four books. Ah. Oh. Yeah. There's only what? There are four, only, there are only four books. Yeah, they're like a Torah. There's a Quran. There's a Bible. Hmm. And uh, which is the fourth one? I don't. I don't remember. Okay. There's, so you and me, we book. agree then. That when the yeah. Muslim they say that uh, Isa was a Muslim, Abraham was a Muslim, oh, Muslim liars. was a Muslim, they, 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 are, they are lying. They are lying for sure. Okay. Yeah. So I want you to <clears throat> just answer this one. Uh, let us see this. Uh... See, these are the Muslims who have uh, given Islam such a bad name by lying. By making up YouTube videos, by coming up with stories. Hey, hold on. By, by by saying that there is science and Quran Islam, and blah, Islam. Blah, blah. Islam is the most stupid religion. Re I want you to read this verse for me. You cannot say which religion is the most stupid. Actually, you know, my, my friend, like, just read the verse for me. Which religion is the best? Read you the cannot say that. I have it's long line simple. of women. I am a prophet now. I have long <laughs> line of women waiting for me outside to do boom boom with them. Please don't waste my time. Read the verse what with me. Isa perceived unbelief huh? on their part. This what? is the verse 52, yeah? 52. Yeah, this verse saying, just to make it short, it says that Isa, he said to the believers, the followers, the, 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 the disciples of Isa, he told them, hmm. uh, we are all Muslims. And you said to me that they are not Muslims. The only one Islam no, came out It doesn't say Muslims. It doesn't say Muslims. It says Allah's way. It doesn't say we are Muslims. It says that. Read it. Where does it say Muslims? It says Where that. does it say the word Muslim? Read it. Okay, I'm reading it. I don't find it. It's in the front of me. How come you don't see it? Then when Isa came to know of their disbelief, he said, Who will be my helpers in Allah's cause? Hmm. The disciples said, We are the helpers of Allah. And we, we believe in Allah and bear witness, witness that we are Muslims. Hmm. Okay, so there, there was... I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm not as educated as you are. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Hmm were Muslims before Muhammad. 
according to the, okay uh, thank you my friend i, I have okay. to hang up on you now it was fun talking to you and uh, yeah. i want you next time you pray to the moon god allah as you said <laughs> you know okay. to tell him christian prince he say hello and uh, okay. uh tell him that i look at the moon and i look at the prophet i look at the moon and i look at the prophet and i look at the moon and i look at the prophet and i look at the moon and i look at the prophet and i decide that the moon look way better than the prophet all right so i will yeah. hang up on you i want you to listen to this video so you can laugh. and you are yes, the one who said and you are the one who said that the prophet the prophet by the way do, do he look so good i will say one thing before you hang up yeah that uh, you uh, you criticize Islam a lot, mm. but there are a lot of things in Bible and other books as well mm. that you ignore. You are a very educated person, and it was an honor talking to you. Thank you very much, sir. Mm. You're welcome. But I don't ignore anything, my friend. No Muslim can debate me, and no Muslim can prove us wrong. No, Thank no, you. If you, if, you debate, if you debate about Christianity, you can, uh, you uh, uh, nobody is stopping you from asking about Christianity, Christianity, and you will see that you are wrong. No, you my know friend. you will lose the debate. You okay. will lose that for sure. Okay, if give, you me a, about me, give me a question. I will give you a chance, even though we are going. No, give me a sorry. question. No, no, give me a question uh, to make no, me lose. No, sir. No, 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 sir. no, 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 we will not go. We will not go. No, no, you know, I, I decide to forget no. about those women lying in front of my house to no. do boom, boom. No. Give me the it's question been... in Christianity. No, I insist. Give me the question only... in Christianity, which I cannot debate, and I will lose. Go ahead. Maybe next time I come to you and I tell you about Christianity, ah. and you will. Next time, there's no next time because by next time you will become oh, shishkaba. Sure. Your wife, she will see the prophet, and so you will lose. Go, you will lose hundred percent. Now, now, because give me the question. So what happened sorry. now? So you are saying to me, uh, ignore. And the second we say to you, no, okay, ask me the question. Suddenly you don't want to ask me the question. What happened? No, because today we decided to only talk about Islam. No, we did not decide anything. Here we go. We made the decision. I am a prophet of Allah. <laughs> and no, no, no. I say worship. Me. Here we go. Give me, because give me been too late. question about Christianity, which nobody can answer. Sir, I have to cook food. I have to take care of my children. It's already okay, too late. Next time. Care. All right. Take care.